This video is going to show you how to calculate a gradient between two points on a map where both of them has a known height. I say calculate a gradient between benchmark 442.6 in J14 and spot height 503 in K13. So there's the benchmark and you can see there is the spot height. So I'm just going to again zoom in so that you can see this a bit better. And there we go. So there's the benchmark and then there's, there's the spot height. So the first thing we need to know is that when we calculate gradient, what is the formula? And if you remember correctly, the formula is gradient equals vertical interval over horizontal equivalent. So I've got two, three pieces of information that I need. The first piece is what is the height of the two points and you can see clearly here the one is 442.6 and the other one is 503 so 503 meters and 442.6 meters they've got, both got a known height the third piece of information that i need is the horizontal equivalent and for you to calculate a horizontal equivalent you need to measure the distance between these two points and again we're going to use the little black dot as the spot height and we're going to use the end of the benchmark um, to measure this distance and if you can see here up until there is 4.6 centimeters so you can see from here to here is 4.6 six centimeters okay so i'm going to zoom out a bit so otherwise the calculations are going to be horrifically large so there we go we now know that the formula is gradient is vertical interval over the horizontal equivalent so what is the highest point in this example and it's a spot height and the spot height is 503 meters and vertical interval means the difference in height between the two points and difference in terms of mathematics means minus so i'm going to subtract the lower height from it and in this case is 442.6 meters and i need to put it over the horizontal equivalent what a horizontal equivalent means is what is the map distance not the centimeter distance the map distance between these two points and i've measured it as 4,6 centimeters from scene three you should know on a 1 to 50,000 map that one centimeter equals 500 meters or 0,5 kilometers so I need to multiply this 4.6 centimeters with one of these two to get it into a map distance. Now look, my height distance is in meters, so my map distance also needs to be in meters. So I'm going to multiply here by 500. It is so that they are the same unit of measurement. So 503, oops, 503 minus 442.6 and that gives me 60,4 meters so the vertical in difference in height between the two is 60.4 meters what is the horizontal equivalent and the horizontal equivalent is 4.6 multiplied by 500 meters and that gives me 2300 meters so 2300 meters now gradient we always indicate as one over something now how do i get 60.4 to become one i divide by 60.4 what i do at the top i do at the bottom so 2300 divided by 60.4 gives me 38 comma 1 
38 comma 1. And you can see that in school they usually told you to round it, not round it off. At university level you're going to round it off for me. Because usually we indicate it as a whole number. So that comma 1 means this is 1 over 38. But this is not usually how we indicate gradient. We usually indicate gradient as 1 to 38. And again, this is unit 3, like a scale. I can make it 1 meter on the ground. Um, 38 meters on the ground means my height increases by 1 meter. So if I have to draw you a little sketch, this means for every 38 meters I walk horizontally, my rise is one meter so you can see this is not a very steep gradient it's not a gentle gradient either but i can either make it meters or centimeters or kilometers whatever so gradient is also unit three so this one to 38 means for every 38 meters i travel horizontally my height increases by one meter